What's up guys? It's me, Admiral Redstone here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you my sprint detection system in vanilla Minecraft. Now this is very basic, but I've never seen someone do it before, and I think it can be an integral part in some designs. So you could use this in, let's say, an adventure map, if you want a player to have to sprint to complete a challenge, or if you want a player to not sprint, and they die if they sprint. Or this could be used on a multiplayer server where you want where you don't want players to sprint in certain areas, or you don't want them to walk in certain areas. It's got many different uses. This is just, I just have it hooked up right now to a simple door that will open when I sprint across, but not when I walk across. This can also be used as a pressure plate activated door that cannot be activated by mobs, because mobs cannot sprint. So right now, I'm just going to walk across and show you guys what happens. Nothing. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys what happens when I sprint across. And there we go. This is very, very basic. And I'm going to show you guys how to build it. Okay guys, we're back. And first of all, here are the different materials that you will need to build this extremely simple sprint detector in Minecraft. First of all, you need some sort of building material. I'm going to be using wood. Next, you need either stone pressure plates or wooden pressure plates. It does not matter at all. It just depends on what kind of theme you're going for. Then you need redstone torches, and redstone dust. So, very few materials, it's extremely simple, and let's build it. First of all, you need some sort of walkway. As of now, I'm going to be showing you how to build a one wide walkway, but later in the video, I will show you how to extend it up to 15 blocks wide. So first of all, stick a pressure plate down where you want the detector to start, and then you count one, two, three blocks, and place another pressure plate. So there should be a three block space between the two. Then you go underneath and place a block under each of the pressure plates. Well, under, like, make a gap and then place a block, and then put redstone dust on that block. Next, you put a block next to the redstone dust with a torch on each block. Put a block in between and wire it up with redstone dust. So now this is essentially an AND gate, and to put your output, you can either put it on this side, you put a torch on that side, or you can put a torch on this side, it does not matter. And you can even get creative, like I said, and extend this out this way and put a torch anywhere. So you have so many options when building this. So, like I said, this is the one wide design. You are done. Congratulations, that was probably less than a minute. And I'll show you that it works. So, for the output, I will just use a note box, you can hear it. Okay, here we go. So first of all, we're going to walk across. Oh, that was a sprint. Okay, take two. Walk across. Okay, it does not activate. Now sprinting across. And the notebook activated. And you can also wire this up so that something activates when you walk across, but not when you sprint across. I'm sure you guys can figure that out on your own, but if you cannot, leave a comment and I'll post another video showing you how. And now let's figure out how to make it wider. So to make it wider, it's extremely easy the way I have it set up. All you need to do is add on another platform. Put pressure plates adjacent to the same pressure plates you placed before. Put blocks adjacent to the blocks you placed before. And wire it up with dust and you are done. That's right. That easy. Let's show you that it works. So walking across and sprinting across. I personally like the 2 wide design the best. I think it's the most comfortable design. But if you want to make it wider, it's very simple. You just extend it as far as you want, up to 15 blocks. Wire it up with dust. Extend this platform out. Okay, the platform ex is extended. And you just line it with pressure plates in the same uh, side. So, there you go. And it works. So, yeah, this is extremely simple. You can extend this up to 15 blocks that direction. Uh, if you need to make it longer than 15 blocks, just leave me a message, leave a comment, post a video response, and I will show you how. And I'm going to try something new with this video. I want you, that's right, you, to post a video in response to this video with what you create using this print detector. So get creative with it, 
the best one I'm going to be featuring in my next video and you can get some credit for your design so yeah if you want you could try your hand at building something creative with this and good luck Admiral Redstone signing off